Welcome to the RoboLinux video tutorial about how to create a VirtualBox Windows XP 7 or 10 VM shortcut inside the RoboLinux XFC Raptor Series 8 version operating systems. So let's get started. On the bottom left, click your menu. You'll see at the bottom system. Just move your mouse over it, highlight it, and you'll see to the right Oracle VM VirtualBox. You'll load that. Now, you could have XP, Windows 7, or Windows 10 in here. I have 10 and 7, and today we're going to do a demonstration on 10, but it'll be exactly the same for all three. Simply highlight your operating system, right-click it, go to the bottom of the dialog box, select Create Shortcut on Desktop. Now shut down Oracle VirtualBox. Now we see our generic icon, but that's not Windows 10, so we right-click it, go to the bottom of the dialog box, select Properties. And then in this dialog box, we click the blue cube uh, in the top left. And we're going to need to navigate. So we're, we look here at the top, select icon from, and you got file type icons. Hold down with your left mouse button, the down arrow, and go down to image files. And now you will see under places your home user directory. Okay, So we're going to click on our home user directory. In my case, it's John. At the bottom of the file manager, you'll see VM icons, double click it. And now you'll see XP, Windows 10, and Windows 7. We're selecting Windows 10. Now on the bottom right of this dialog box, you, you select OK. And you can close the properties dialog box. Now we have the correct icon, but what we need to do is we need to set this shortcut, which is really a, a launcher. Okay, it's a desktop launcher. So we're going to right click it. We're going to go ahead and select Open with Mousepad or Open with MEdit. I'm going to use Mousepad. Now, at the very bottom is where you want to put Categories with a capital C. Be sure you spell it exactly correctly and check it. And Equals and with a capital S for System and then a semicolon. Just make sure it's all spelled right, otherwise it won't work. And now you can go to File at the top left and select Save. And you can exit the mouse pad uh, editor. Now we need to move this icon into our USR Share Applications directory. And the way we do that is we open a terminal by clicking on the black square terminal down here at the bottom left. And we're going to type in sudo space Thunar. Now, of course, I already did that earlier, so hit the up arrow. One of the advantages of using a real uh, operating system. Okay, so sudo, S-U-D-O, and then a space, and then Thunar, T-H-U-N-A-R, and that's all lowercase. Press Enter. It'll ask for your sudo password. Type it in. You won't see the characters, but type them and press Enter. And now you are in the Thunar file manager, and you are there as root. We don't need this terminal, so I'm going to roll it up. And what I'm going to do is I've got to go to my desktop where that icon is. Actually, it's a launcher now. And I go there and I see it. And I right click it. And I go to cut in the dialog box. And now if you look directly to your left, you'll see that we've programmed applications in places. You just click there. Now anywhere in a white space on this screen, right click and select paste in the dialog box. And you're done. Except you want to roll down your terminal and then exit out. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to place this launcher or desktop icon somewhere where it's easily accessible. Now, you know, that's totally up to you. You can put it on the bottom panel. You can have four panels. I have two. I'm going to actually, or you could put it on your desktop. I'm going to put mine in the right side panel over here next to my Tor browser. So Click your main menu on the bottom left, go up to System, and what you'll find is that it's all alphabetized. So at the very bottom, we're going to find Windows 10. Right-click it, and then you simply can select either Add to Favorites, Add to Desktop, or Add to any of your four panels. I select Add to Panel. And now I see Panel 1 and Panel 2, and I'm going to select Panel 2. And then press the plus Add button here in this dialog box and I'm finished doing that. If I look over here, I will see I have Windows 10 
and it is loaded in my uh, right side panel which I keep uh, hidden unless I move my mouse over it you can actually have it show up all the time if you like so now we have to go ahead and test this so we're gonna go ahead and load Windows 10 and as you can see it loaded just fine and of course that could have been Windows XP 32 or 64 bit could have been Windows 7 32 or 64 bit and it could have been the 32 bit version of Windows 10 I'm running the 64 bit Windows version 10 well I'd like to thank you for your very kind support and I hope you have a great day and may God bless you and your family